Welcome to Electron Online, and now we have a very interesting identity here, which we're trying to prove. We're trying to show that the left side equals the right side, and sometimes you end up with something where you look at it and go, I really don't even know where to start. But maybe here, since we have the sine of 4x, maybe we can write as the sine of 2x plus 2x, because the sine of a plus b, we know what the equation is for that. Let's write that down. So we have the sine of uh, a plus b that is equal to the sine of a, times the cosine of b plus d times the cosine of a sine of b. It's more commonly written like that. All right, so, and then also realize, of course, that the sine of 2a, a plus a, can be written as the sine a cosine a plus cosine a sine a. All right. Knowing that, let's go up here and let's rewrite the, the left side like this. We can write it as the sine of 2x plus 2x divided by the sine of x. All right, if we do it like that, then we can expand it the way we did over there. So we can write this as the sine of, uh, <clears throat> let's see here. Yeah, sine of 2x times the cosine of 2x. Uh, plus the cosine of 2x times the sine of 2x, all divided by the sine of x. All right, now let's see here. There's two of those, so this is equal to 2 times the sine of 2x times the cosine of 2x divided by the sine of x. Notice that we have a cosine of 2x here and we have a cosine of 2x there, so I will not do anything with the cosine of 2x, but let's take the sine of 2x and expand it like we did just the same. So this can be written as 2 times, so the sine of 2x can be written like this, can be written like that. So it's going to be the sine of x times the cosine of x plus the cosine of x times the sine of x times the cosine of 2x all divided by the sine of x. All right, so now what I have here is, let's see here, I can combine those two. So this is equal to 2 times, 2 times the sine of x times the cosine of x times the cosine of 2x, all divided by the sine of x. So that's when I, since these are exactly the same, I can simply add them together. And now the sine of x divided by sine of x, since everything is multiplying the numerator, I can cancel this out with this. And 2 times 2 is 4. So we can write this as 4 times the cosine, oh, 4 times the cosine of x times the cosine of 2x. And that is exactly the same what I have over there. So I proved the identity. So it's kind of interesting. Sometimes you really don't know where you're going to go with it, but just try something. Think of an identity, expand it, see what happens, especially when you have four times the angle or twice the angle. You could usually expand it the way we did over there, and then you usually end up being able to cancel things enough to where you then get close to the final answer, and that's how we do that.